Hey, how's it going guys and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you every single category and what players are on show for us to vote on for the footies, the footy community team of the season pink cards. I guess that, that's what they are. So yeah, guys, I'm going to show you all the ones I've actually voted for and let me know in the comment section if you maybe agree with the ones that I've picked or what you can do is list your ones out in the comments and see if you voted for the same ones that I've done. So yeah, I'm going to show you all the categories and all that good stuff and yeah yeah hopefully you do enjoy but if you need coins before we start you fifa is your place if you need game codes or anything game related any games all that good stuff then check out g2a links also in the description did i say that no i didn't say that. It links at the top of the description you know and go into my code fuji so yeah let's get straight into it hope you enjoy and let's go so guys the first category we have is for the goalkeeper safe hands and the five goalkeepers listed for us to vote on musera i don't know why he's up there but we've got leno as well sirigu handanovic and my chosen pick uh i just want another goalkeeper in the bpl to be honest which is hugo ruiz i think if he gets up if his inform gets upgraded like by the plus two which i think that's what they're pushing for he could have an 88 rated pink card that would be incredible really want to see that so if let me know who you're going to vote on but please vote for hugo Lloris because that would be such a sick card but i, I mean leno could be cool as well even musera but like no one's going to pick him so yeah that's the goalkeepers the next one we have is tackles category this is basically a player that can make a tackle in your team and you can literally counter attack off of that and score now the ones that we have to vote on is Catamol. No, no, we're just going to ignore him. We've got Luis Gustavo, Di Rossi, Kadira, and Yaya Toure. Now, seeing as Yaya Toure has already had a man of the match card, Di Rossi isn't the best on this game this year. Although he's quite a good CDM, I didn't go for that. Uh, Kadira. So next up, we have the skills category. And I'm not really much of a skiller myself, but it is quite nice to see more, I guess, upgraded skillers. We've got Shifji. We've got Shikawi. We've got Terapt, Charisma, and Nani. And Charisma is winning by a mile but i honestly would prefer to have another skiller in the barclays premier league so my vote is for terap uh, he was so good like when he was a silver back on fifa 11 or 12 i want to say and he's still pretty good on the game so my vote is for terap get some skillers in the bpl you know uh but yeah let me know in the comment section who you want to vote for and let's move on to the next one long shots it is and this is the next category uh, i like how they're trying to introduce a few silvers now and again but we've got ronnie we've got kodorov that won't be picked we've got freddy guarin hernanez and rooney now i would have gone for guarin but he's already had an inform hernanez is a player that i love to try and introduce to my side but because he hasn't had any informs uh, it just he just doesn't look as good so if he could get a pink card that would be awesome and i think an upgrade would really help him out so yeah hernandez has got my vote although rooney he would be a pretty good card as well but he's had informs already so i thought that'd be pretty pointless so yeah hernandez has got my long shot vote so we have some good old-fashioned headers next up and we've got carol closer negredo manzukic and cavani to vote on now carol's got my vote and the reason why is because closer i don't really want to close a card he's not that good on the game likewise with negredo Mandzukic, maybe like he's pr still pretty good. I would probably go for Mandzukic or Carroll, but I'd prefer someone in the Premier League. And Cavani's already had an inform. He's already had a winger card. Like it's a bit boring just to upgrade players that have already had like special cards anyway. So Carroll, Andy Carroll, big old Andy, he can have my vote. So let's move on to the next one. Leadership. So we clearly know who's going to win this, but we're going to go through it anyway. Players to pick from. Lampard, Ronaldinho, Andre Pirlo, uh, Xavi, or Gerard. Now, for me, I support the Italian national side. So pirlo has got my vote. I would love another special card of him. I know he has had, has had an inform, and it was really good. So if he could get a pink card, that would be pretty cool. But Ronaldinho, as you know, he's going to win it. There are so many, like... Uh, still Barca fanboys of the days where he used to play at Barcelona Brazilian fanboys like Ronaldinho is a legend and he's going to win it and his card will probably be, be quite good so yeah very happy that he has won it but Pilo, he's still got my vote so we've got some five star weak foot magic here we've got Blanco who's like so old <laughs> why are they putting these random silvers in I don't get it we've got Totti Francesco Totti we've got David Villa we've got Mkhitaryan and we've got Ericsson 
I would love a Mkhitaryan card. Now, I, there are so many ways people will say it. I don't know if I've said it right, but he's got five-star weak foot. As you know, he's got four-star skills. He's really, really good on the game. He hasn't had an inform yet, and I would just love it. I was going to vote for Totti, but Totti, uh, he, he just he isn't that great. Let's face it. He's not that good, but uh, Mkhitaryan actually is. And Ericsson's already had loads of other cards. David Villa's had a couple of informs popping up now and again. So, yeah, he's got my vote. So, the next category confused me a little bit because it said out of position now i wasn't sure of these players that we would vote on and then we would get like another subcategory to put where we wanted them to play but that's not the case it's just players that we manually ourselves as ultimate team players tend to play them but i don't know why walker's in the list because i i I don't play him anywhere other than right back, but I voted for him anyway. But the other players on the list, we have oh, obviously Walcott, David Luiz, uh, Alaba, and Bale. Now, I know Walcott's out of position. David Luiz, I mean questions there Alaba as well no one really plays him I think they've more more or less looked at what they do in real life like I know Alaba he can play as a cam a CDM center back so yeah my vote goes for Walker because he's an absolute beast and yeah hopefully he probably will get the card you know Walker's gonna be sick so next up we have the perfect link now this is really interesting I love uh, sort of the creativity that EA have uh, sent out with this one you basically pick one set and then they both get the pink card so we've got McGeady and Coleman we have uh, Pastore and Lovetsi Pedro and Jordi Alba Chiellini and Barzagli and then the last one which I have picked which is everyone else is going to pick as well because these two cards both of them on their own are awesome which is Gundogan and Royce Royce hasn't had an inform. He's going to get this pink card and it's going to be amazing. Can't wait for it. And yeah, that's my perfect link pick. So the last category we have on the list is just pure pace. The paciest players. Uh, but one of them that they did pick was, I, I was like, why? Why don't you just put another striker in? But we've got Ibarbo. We've got Ramos. We've got MNEK. Ramirez. Why? Why would you put a CDM in there? Why didn't they choose like a, a Bon Lahore? If they had like a silver a Bon Lahore, I would have picked that one. And then the last one on the list, which has my pick, which is Dumbia. And this year, Dumbia is better than Ibarbo. He's better than Ramos MNEK. Like, he is the sweatiest like beast. He's King Sweat, honestly. And if he gets a pink card, that that is going to be one of the best strikers you can actually buy. Honestly, so good. Um, but yeah, guys, let me know in the comment section your picks for the footy card and yeah they're going to be out probably just after the 12th of july so yeah if you have enjoyed please do drop a like let me know what you thought about my picks and i will see you next time for another video of